in this example, we're going to go look at out of band scanning of OneDrive, and we're going to see how people who should not have access to the data can be prevented from having access to it. Now let's go and set up a policy so that we look for sensitive data and make sure people who should not have access to that data do not have access to it. In this example, we set up a SaaS security API policy. Uh, we select a file sharing application and we select a rule name and we select this for OneDrive. So that's the instance of the application we want the rule to apply to. In this example, only Kevin applies, that rule applies to Kevin. We select a DLP engine called bulk SSN. You can select multiple DLP engines over here. The bulk SSN engine looks for five or more SSNs. And here we look for external collaborators and external links. So people outside the organization, if they have access to the document. And then we take an action as remove sharing. So what this policy does is if someone outside the organization has access to a document, which has five or more SSNs, then we'll make sure they do not have access to it. We can also set up a scan schedule where we can say, do we want to scan all the data or do we want to scan a subset of the data? We select the tenant that we want to monitor, in this case, OneDrive, and then we can select all data or we can select a specific date range for which we want to look at the data. We can also select these profiles for both data loss prevention as well as malware. Here we show the building blocks of the policy where how do you create those profiles for social security number? Again, we use a built-in profile for social security number that Zscaler provides. And then we can also create a profile called bulk SSNs. And in bulk SSNs, we look for greater than four social security numbers. And this engine is fairly flexible with full Boolean operation for and, or, not, exclude. Again, this example is very, very simple but that single engine can have more than a thousand individual DLP dictionaries built into it. So that's simple to set up the DLP policy. That's all we need to do. Now let's go and see how this will work in the real world once the policy is set up. Here, we're gonna go and upload a file into OneDrive. It's the data parity instance of OneDrive. So note that I'm uploading a file over here and this file is called partner records the docx. Now let's open this file and share it with a user's personal email account. So we're sharing this with a Yahoo email account. And as you can see here, anyone with this link can have access to it. So if that user forwarded it to somebody else, they will also have access to the link. And let's see how Zscaler can help you with this. So the personal Yahoo account gets that email and they can click on that particular document. And when you click on the document, they have access to the document and you can see the various social security numbers in that document. While all this is happening, Zscaler is continuously monitoring Office 365 and via the APIs, it will get notifications about the document as well as has it been shared. And within minutes, it will get remediated. And as we can see here, we get a log saying that the partner records the docx was detected by Zscaler. And it'll give you, it also showed you it have external collaborators. It tells you, did it have SSNs? Looks like it does have SSNs and the bulk SSNs. It matches that. It also shows you the individual dictionaries and shows you the action that the sharing link has been removed. This all happens within a matter of minutes. So now if the user again tries to go and access that document again, he's going and accessing it, he no longer will have access to the document. And you get the action saying the link has been removed and the Zscaler CASB for all its out of band integrations has webhooks which provides notifications in the matter of seconds and then remediation is near real time. Even in very, very large deployments, in the matter of minutes, any missharing or malware can be remediated very, very quickly and very, very easily.